the skin you are looking at is the carbon skin and this is the new default skin for Samplitude Pro X4. The Canis and Camo skins are still available. There will be an update for the Birdline skin suites around the 20th of December 2018. Although these new versions, which are specifically for Samplitude Pro X4, will no longer be free, this is because the Birdline collaboration with Magix is no longer active at the time of making this video. They are a great set of alternative skins and good value at €25 Euros for the Platinum Pack version 7. I will post a separate video about the Birdline skins later. You can now quickly access different mouse modes by shift right clicking. A toolbox of mouse modes will then pop up. There is a new command in the track menu called Maximize Track Automatically. Enabling this means that when you select any track in the track header area, it will automatically zoom vertically. This is very useful if you have a very large project and want to zoom in to a single track. You can change the amount of zoom to suit your needs and this size will be used on subsequent selected tracks. Other improvements include the semi-transparent display of lasso and ranges, new object handles design, also anti-aliased fade display for smoother movement. You can now multi-select tracks by clicking in an empty space of the track header. Previously you could only do this by clicking in the name field. Also, accelerated drawing of objects has been implemented. This should improve performance if your project contains many small audio clips. There's one final small but important improvement with regard to recording in Samplitude. I'm sure some of you have been hit by a moment of inspiration and started recording a song, and an hour has passed, then boom, suddenly the program crashes. You realise with horror that you haven't yet saved the project, and these moments of inspiration have been lost forever. Well, this should be a thing of the past now because there is a new setting which basically saves the project automatically as soon as you've recorded something. This isn't activated by default, so you need to go to the menu item File, Project Properties, Project Auto Save, then tick the box which says Save After Recording. So now, if you forget to save the project from the start, you will never lose anything because it will be saved automatically as soon as anything is recorded. So I think that covers the significant changes of the Arrange page. I hope you found it useful, and until next time, all the best.